Hi teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Just like yesterday. Hello. Hi. There you go. Okay. Very good. Okay. We have Carla, Angel, and Gamaliel. Very good. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. As you know, as you know, we're going to finish the model tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be the last day. Okay. 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 So, uh, Inglés Corporativo told me that you need to finish the platform by Friday. Inglés Corporativo dijo de que tienen que terminar todo en la plataforma hasta el viernes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's see what we are going to do today. Okay. The first thing that we're going to do uh, is that we're going to check the videos two videos that we still have to see in mm -hmm. English Corporativo. So I'm gonna go and check and prepare it for you guys. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go here. What is the video? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm, I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay, let me know when you see it. I'm sharing it right now. Okay, can everybody see this video? Yes. Okay. Yes. As usual, you know, like, like we have been doing the whole week, uh, this is about the simple pass. This is all about the simple pass. So let's see what we have to do today. Listen and pay attention, okay? Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. 
So let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right-hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. And when Okay. Here, what we're going to do is that we're going to focus on a little bit on the on the on this vocabulary that we have here in the conversation. So, so Chad, where did you grow up? This we have been practicing, uh, you know, during two days or three. So I grew up in Texas. I was born here there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what, what was your major? Drama. Okay, what I want you to do is, is scan the conversation and ask me about vocabulary here. Do you have any questions about vocabulary in this conversation? No, they no, no questions. Good. Question, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, now, what we are talking about here, like I said yesterday, when we talk about was, where, was and where, and did. So we have three different things to talk about did, was, and where, and how to make the questions. So let me show you how are we going to work in this, okay? So let me just prepare everything for you guys. Okay, meanwhile, what we're going to do is that we're going to see the next activity. 
which is a school days. Let's check that one out. And it's also talking about the simple past. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Okay, so let me zoom up and let me share with you guys. Let me know when you see it, please. Yeah, teacher. Yes. yes. Thank you. So we have in this vocabulary, it says, complete the words mark with the words from the list, then listen and check. Let's listen to it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes. History. Math. Physical education. Science. Schools. College. Elementary. High. Junior high. Places. Classroom. Gym. Lunchroom. Playground. Now, I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into three different sections. Classes, schools, and places. For example, under places, you can add classroom. Then, I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Try to make as many questions and answers as possible. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, this is the presentation we're going to talk about did, was, and where. So, can everybody see it? Yes. 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 Good. Good. So, let's begin. Let's begin. So, in this topic, we're going to identify, discuss, and talk about simple past, was, where, and did. Okay, let's see who's going to practice practice this vocabulary, I mean the introduction. Uh, let's see, Carla Cano and Carlos, please. Carlos, you start, please. Okay. Okay. Hi, Carla. Nice to see you this evening. Time files. Can you believe it? Believe. Be be believe. Can you believe can you believe this? This is our last week in this class. Hello, Carlos. Nice to see you too. Yeah, unbelievable. We are finishing this model this week. Are you going to continue? Yeah, that that is my plan to continue with the next model. Uh, to learn more English. Do you know what we were, what we are going to learn today? Yes, I know. We are going to learn to successfully identify, discuss, and talk about the simple past. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what is next. So there it is. This was and where. Okay, let's see who's going to read next. 
que Gamaliel, can you read? Okay. Uh, WH questions would be. Okay. Was I sleepy? Sleepy yesterday? Yesterday? Yes, you were. No, you weren't. You weren't. Where were you last night? I was at home last night. When was Tony at the cinema? He was there yesterday. How was Mary when you saw her? She was fine. You saw the movie? How was it? It wasn't great. Why, why were we hungry after the party? Because we danced a lot. No dance, danced, 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 danced. Thanks. When were they at work? They were at work all. All week. Yeah, the thing is that all week. I, thing, I don't see. It. Yeah, we don't see it because this. Look. Oh man, can I see it? Okay. Next. Let's see who's next. <laughs> Next um, is Angel. Okay. Uh, where did I go last night? You went to a party. Uh, what did you play last weekend? I played video games. Uh, what did Tony cook on Monday? He cooked pasta. Why did Sarah listen to rock? She listened uh, to rock because she likes that kind of music. That kind, that kind of music. The kind of music. Uh, when did when did it rain? It rain. It raining uh, on Tuesday evening. Where did we eat for Valentine Valentine's Day? Uh, we ate at Tony Roman's. Uh, last Valent Valentine's Day. Uh, how did Ross and Mike travel? Uh, they travel by by airplane. Don't worry, you can see. Okay, let's go for next. Let's see who's next. That's it. We finish. Okay, what I want to show you here. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Okay, what I want to show you in this presentation is that we're going to see how can we learn or, or how can we do questions using the three of them, did, was, and where. Okay, so for example, let's do this here. Let's, let's start with did, okay? But we're going to do it. 60. Okay, can everybody see this letter? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, cook. Cook. Uh, what is cook? So it would be cooked, ed at the end in the simple past. So how is it that we can actually ask cook about ourselves? ¿Cómo preguntamos para nosotros mismos? Myself? No, ¿Qué voy a hacer? No. I? Yes. No. How would it be? Did I cook? Did I cook pasta last night? Yeah, there it is. Did I cook pasta last night? And the answer would be, si yo le preguntase a uno de ustedes, did I cook pasta last night? What is the answer? In simple past. Yeah, simple past, yeah. I was... Recuerden, wait, wait, wait. Recuerden que si ven la pregunta que lleva did, es simple past. 
y por lo tanto van a responder en simple pass. Okay? Okay. So, si yo le pregunto a ustedes, ¿did I cook pasta last night? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Yes, yeah. you did cook mm -hmm. pasta last night. Yes, you did. Positive. And the negative? No, you didn't. No, no. no you didn't. There you go. So that, that is we did. Okay? That's how we do we did. So what would be the question that is for first person? Ese es para primera persona, como preguntándole qué hice yo, si lo hice o no lo hice. Pero qué tal si le pregunto a alguien, ¿hiciste tú o no hiciste? ¿Cómo sería? ¿Qué cambiaríamos aquí para decir? You. Solo el sujeto, ¿no? Yeah. Did you cook pasta last night? Eso, solo eso cambiaríamos. So, pregunta positiva. Si yo le pregunto, si yo le pregunto a usted, le digo, did you cook pasta last night? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta positiva, la respuesta positiva? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, very good. Yes, I did. Or, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. So, ¿cómo sería la pregunta para tercera persona singular? Si, espera, si quisiera saber, eh, si quiero preguntar, eh, ¿Mari cocinó anoche? ¿Cómo lo haríamos? Sería, ¿Did she? Did Mari cook? Did Mari cook pasta last night? Ahí está. No. Did Mari cook pasta last night? Y aquí cambiaría a... Yes, yes Mari. No, no, Mari. Solo en la pregunta va el nombre, acuérdense. Ok, okay no, she, yes, she did or no, she didn't. Ok, so there you go. Did Mari cook pasta last night? Yes, she did, no, she didn't. Okay. Ahora hagamos una plural. En plural, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sería si yo pregunto, si yo quiero preguntar, eh, ¿Cocinó toda la clase pasta anoche? Did they? Did they? Did, did they cook pasta last night? No. ¿Cocinó toda la clase anoche pasta? No estoy diciendo, ¿cocinaron ellos pasta todo ayer? Okay. Did all class. Did the whole class cook pasta last night. ¿Mm? The, whole. the whole class. Toda la clase. ¿Y la respuesta sería? Yes, yes they did. did. Yes, they did. O no, they didn't. Dependiendo, si yo les pregunto a ustedes, did the whole class cook pasta last night? ¿Cómo sería? Si yo les preguntara a ustedes, did the, como, ustedes como clase, si yo les pregunto, yes, ¿Did the whole class? Did. ¿Cómo? Yes, we did. Exacto. Hay dos formas de verlo. Entonces, yes, we did. Or no, we didn't. ¿Mm? ¿Ya? Y ahí está toda la orden de cómo utilizamos did. Cómo utilizamos en pregunta did. ¿Ok? Pero me voy a buscar cómo estaba antes. Antes de todo esto. Ahí está. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to I'm going to duplicate. Okay, in the duplication here. Okay, we already did did. Ya hicimos con did. Ahora vamos a usar was. Okay, so with was. Un preguntaría 
estuve yo cocinando? O oh, no, pero was sería en, en, en pasado simple para tercera persona. So, was Mary. Wait, wait, yes. Cook. Was I. Mm, que aquí ya la estamos formando de otra forma. Was. Sería. I, was I cooking pasta last night? No, porque ya sería otro tiempo. Yes, you said it here. Look, is she cook? Was I in class yesterday? Hmm? Was I in class yesterday? Estuve yo en clases ayer? Sería? Yes, you were. Or no, you weren't. Come on, come on. What is the post? There it is. Okay. Look, was I in class yesterday? Estuve yo en la clase ayer? Yes, you were. Si estuviste. No, you weren't. No, no estuviste. Got it? That's for first person. Yes. Now, with third person, was Mary. In class yesterday? Yes. She was. Or no, she wasn't. Ven como, 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 como es de diferencia. ¿Mm? Was Mary in class yesterday? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. If there is a big difference for first person. Do you see? Yes, teacher. So, yes. are you understanding now? ¿Están entendiendo? More or less. What do you mean more or less? Come on, pay attention now. I'm <laughs> doing this like really step by step, okay? Now, let's go with where. Check out where. This is once. So, yes. Let's go with where. With where? Where is function for second person? El where lo se utiliza para segunda persona. So, were you, were you in class yesterday? Were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was. Or, no, I wasn't. There you go. Hmm? Okay, so there you have it. Three types of past questions, simple past questions. Did, was, and where. Okay, if you want to do it in, in plurals, where, where Carlos and Carla in class yesterday. Yes, and this is different in, in, in plural. Yes, they were, or no, they weren't. There you go, look. Yes, teacher. Okay, now, let's see. Did was where okay let's let's have a um let's have a let's have questions do you understand how to use did was and where or you still have any questions i understand anybody else okay so that's let's move on Okay. Now what we're going to do is that we're going 
to do the, the practice, okay? We're going to do the practice I told you yesterday. So we close this up. We go here. And we go to, what is it? Contractions, questions, series. Okay. Okay, here it is. Now let's go to the question parts. No, it's not the one I'm looking for. Which one? I want the questions, questions. Here it is. I got it. Okay, so we're going to work today with the four different tenses. Present continuous, simple future, simple past and simple present. Questions and answers, okay? Okay. Let's see. Okay, here they are. These are all the information questions, remember? Okay, so we're going to start with uh, questions in present continuous. Do you remember what is the present continuous? What is the meaning of present ING. continuous? Yes, when we use ING, ING. What do we use for simple future? Going to. Going, going to. to, yes. And what do we use for simple past? Did, did was, was and where? Did. did, was, and where? And what do we use for simple present? What, what do we use for simple present? Do, are, do, am, do, and does the auxiliaries? Do and does. Okay. Yeah, so does. good. So what we're going to do is that we're going to remember the four general questions for present uh, for 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 these tenses. What is the general question for present continuous? General question for present continuous. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you. What are you doing? General question for simple future. What are you, what going, are you going to, to do? do? What are you going to do? Very good. Uh, present, uh, I mean, a general question for simple task. What did what you do? Did you do? What did you what do? What did you do? And simple and simple present general question. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Very good. Okay, let's begin. So this time we're going to go with a tense. Let's go with jump. Jump. Do you know what is jump? Saltar. Salto. Saltar. Very good. Saltar. So, in present continuous is jumping, right? Jumping. In simple future is going to jump. In simple past is jump. ED. Al final conté. And in simple present is jump. Okay? So, let's go with this. Now, let me just go here where I can see everybody. Okay. What is the general question? Present continuous? What do you do? Ah, perdón. What, 
what, what are, are you doing? doing? What are you do. doing? Very good. Let's start with. Uh, what are you doing? Yes. What are you doing? Okay. Let's start with Carla Cano. Uh, Carla, what are you doing? I'm studying. No, no, no. What is the verb that we're going to use today? Jump. 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 Sorry, I can it's, hear it. It's okay. okay. Sorry. I'm jumping. Good. Question number two to Angel. Angel, mm -hmm. what are you doing? No, no, no. Question number two. Question number two. What is question number two? I don't see it. Oh. Okay, let me just go in. Okay, take a screenshot, please. Take a screenshot so you can have it. Take a screenshot. Okay, okay. Okay, ready. Okay, everybody has the screenshot? Yes. Okay, good. Let's go. Okay, so Carla, make question number two to Angel. What is question number two, Carla? What time are you going to jump? It's present continuous, not simple future. Sorry. What time? What time are you? Yes, what time are you? What is the verb? What is the verb? What time are you jump? In, jumping, jumping, jumping. one more time, one more time. What time are you jumping? Okay, I'm here. Uh, I I jump. No, I I. I, I jump in. I'm I'm jumping. I'm jumping. The next Monday. Listen to the question. Is what time? What time? What time are you jumping, Angel? Mm -hmm. I'm jumping at eight o'clock. Okay, good. Angel, ask Gamaliel. Question number Gam three. Gamaliel, uh, where are you jump? What? One more time. Uh, where? Mm -hmm. Where are you jump? Come on, present continuous. I ing. One more time. Uh, where are you jumping? Yeah, you go. Gamaliel. I jumping in my house. I'm, I'm jumping in my house. I'm jumping in my house. Good. Gamaliel, next question to Carla Torrente. Carla, uh, when you jumping? No, what? Present continuous. When you are jumping? No. One more time. I'm sorry. When you... Mm -mm. I'm sorry, teacher. I, I don't know. When are you? When are you jumping? When? When? Uh, sorry, sorry. When are you jumping? Carla. Yes, I am jumping. Uh, when? Um. Uh, yes, I am jumping in my house. Uh, in the week. Mm, no. No. Remember, present continuous is. At least in the moment. So you can uh, say, I'm jumping today. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, I jump in, in the last, in the, in the day, every day? Mm, no. No. I'm, I'm jumping today. That's the answer. That's the answer. Ah, okay. I jump in today. Okay, make the next question to Carlos Alvarado. Okay, when is why? Mm -hmm. Why are you jumping? Yes. 
Carlos. Hi, yes. I, I am jumping. Yes. In the. No, listen to the question. Why are you jumping? Why, teacher, why is, por qué? Why? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I am, I am the jumping for exercise. No. No, no, no. Um, guys, les he mandado hasta los, los, los PowerPoints para que estudien. No me lo están estudiando. Come on. Una repasadita, por lo menos de cinco minutos, lo pueden hacer. Les he mandado súper bastante material para que estudien. No lo están haciendo. Tienen que estar preparados para esto, ¿ok? So, why are you jumping? I'm jumping because I like it. I'm jumping because I like it. Carlos. I jumping because I like it. Yes, there you go. Okay, Carlos as Jose. Yes. Who? Yes. It's yeah. Who are? No. Come on. He explicado esta bastante veces. Dije que esta who. Y who's son diferentes al resto. Who is teacher? Who is jumping? Who is jumping? Very good. Okay, Carlos, ask him. Yes. Who is jumping? Okay, Jose, who is jumping? I. Sería. I. Allí puede ser cualquiera. Is, recuerde, is, que la pregunta, uh, recuerde que la pregunta es, ¿quién está ¿quién? saltando? So, la respuesta puede ser cualquiera. Ok. Sería, mm. yeah. is exercise? No. La pregunta oh, es, who uh, is jumping? Who is jumping? ¿Por qué está saltando? No. ¿A quién está saltando? Uh -huh. eh, Sería, eh, 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 sería eh, Carla Cano. Ah, Carla Cano, ¿qué más? Eh, Carla Cano is jumping. Very good, good. Ok, la siguiente pregunta usted a Carla Torrento. Eh, ¿Qué dijimos eh, que significaba who's? I, I don't remember, teacher. Who's? ¿Quién sabe? ¿Quién se acuerda que dije que era who's? ¿Qué significa? No sé si es de quién es o... ¿De quién? De quién. Very good. Entonces quiere decir que en este, en este verbo no podemos utilizarlo. ¿Ok? Ajá. So, va a seguir who with. Haga, José, who with. Who with... No, who with... a Carla Torrento. Who with What? Carla? No, no, no. Recuerden cómo utilizamos el who with. Perdón. Sí. Sería. Eh, word. <laughs> Sería. Alguien que le ayude a José porque José who se. Who is. Eh, who is jumping? No. No. ¿Alguien más? No. ¿Otra idea? Ayúdenle a José. Who with no, eh, who with jumping. Who with significa con quién. Entonces queremos preguntar con quién with, estás brincando. Who is jumping with. No, oigan, oigan. Lo que queremos preguntar es con quién estás saltando. Who are you? Uh -huh. Jumping with. Very good. Ok, José, lo escuchó. Sí, ok. Vale, pregúntale entonces. Who, who are you 
jumping. Ya faltó. With, with. Ok, otra with. vez, otra vez, José. Who are you jumping with? Ok, Carla. I jumping with my sister. Otra vez. I jumping with my sister. No hay. I am, I am. Si lo va a hacer, si lo van a decir, ah, I am, okay. I am. Si, si lo van a hacer contactado, am. Ok, otra vez. Okay. I'm jumping with my sister. Ok. Next question to Gamaliel. Ok. Uh, what kind of? What kind what, of? What kind of? What kind of? Uh, uh, what kind of jumping? Mm, no. Entonces no lo podemos hacer con este verbo. Uh -huh. so, se salta a... Entonces, which. which. Como no sale what kind of, no podemos hacer which. Entonces nos saltamos a... How. 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 Ok. Pregúntele. How. how. <laughs> It just say how many. But no, no how, how much. No. Uh, how. How. No how much. How. Uh, ¿Alguien que le ayuda a Carla? How are you? Very good, yes. How are you jumping? No. Ángel, otra vez. Are, uh, who, uh, how are you jumping? No, tampoco. Are you jumping? Otra vez. How, uh, how are you jumping? Very good. Carla, así era. How, uh, how are you jumping? Good. Gamaliel? Uh, I'm jumping very strong. Okay, that's good. Gamaliel, next question to Carla Cana. Uh, how many, how many? Mm, no, how many? how many? No entra aquí, entonces. Yes. Entonces saltamos a how many times? How many times? Okay. How many times are you jumping? Falta el periodo de tiempo, come on. How many times? I'm, I'm sorry, teacher, I, I don't know. ¿Cuál es el periodo de tiempo que le faltó a Gamaliel? ¿Alguien? Today, for example? No. ¿Alguien más? Se les olvida rápido, oh, chicos. Se les olvida once, rápido. How twice. many times a day? How many times how a many day? Times? How many times a month? How many times a year? Come on, come on. Period of time. Otra vez. Week. How many times? Uh, um, how many times are you jumping today? No, 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 no. How many times a day? Or how many times a week? How many times a day are you jumping? Yes. ¿A quién le preguntaba? A Carla Tormento. Okay. No, Carla. a Carla Cano. Era. <laughs> okay. ok. Otra vez la pregunta, Gamaliel. How many times a day are you jumping? Yes. I'm jumping twice a week. A day, twice a day. El dijo a day. Sorry. Okay, I... it's okay. Okay, ¿cuál es la siguiente pregunta? How fast? Okay, how fast? Uh, pregúntele a Carlos, a Carlos. How fast, Carlos, how fast are you jumping? Yes. Carlos? Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> How, I jumping. how fast are you jumping? I'm jumping 
uh, very fast. Ok. Pregúntele a Ángel. Sería Ángel. How, how long? How long? Uh, how long uh, you're jumping? No. In, no. Primero va el B y después el sujeto. How long? Mm -hmm. B. Ahora va el B. How long are you? Uh -huh. Are you jumping? Yeah, that's it. How long are you jumping, oh. Angel? I'm jump. I I'm jumping for two minutes. So. Two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. Mm. Good. Okay, Angel as um, Gamaliel. Uh, Gamaliel, how often are you jumping? Uh, um, I'm jumping every day. No. How often are you jumping? Tiene que utilizar la, las, los adverbios de frecuencia. Mm. No le tomo screenshot a lo que le dije. No, teacher. Dije que le tomaran screenshot a las preguntas de información para que sigan. Ah, ok, ok. No, teacher, no, no lo tengo. Ok. Um, ¿Cuál era la pregunta? How, how, often, how often are you jumping? Ok, how often are you jumping? I'm always jumping, and usually jumping, and rarely jumping, and never jumping. Los adverbios de frecuencia van con, con esa pregunta. How often? How often? So you can use you always, usually, sometimes, eh, hardly, hardly, hardly ever, ever, eh, never. ever, never. So, so. Okay. So we finish with present continuous. Let's go to simple. Future. Okay. What is the general question for simple future? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Thank you, Carla. Okay, Carla, what are you going to do? Uh, with the same verb. With the same verb. Don't change it. Okay. I am going to jump. Very good. Ask Carla Torrento. Question number two. Okay. Carla Torrento. Yes. Question number two, Carla. Ask me or ask for no. Carla? Carla Cano is going to ask you. Ah, okay. Okay, let me ask you then. Carla Torrento, what time are you going to jump? What time are you going to jump? No, no, no. I'm asking you. Yo le estoy haciendo preguntas. Ah, okay. <laughs> Car Carla Torrento, what time are you going to jump? Um, and jumping? No, I'm no. going to jump. Uh, I'm going to jump in the week. No. What time? What time are you going to jump? What time? I going to um, jump. I'm going to jump. In the... In the tomorrow? No. 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 At 2 p.m. Es, cuando es what time tiene que dar una hora específica acá. ah ok um, <laughs> I, I forget it sorry uh, I'm hello going... I come back <laughs> she's back Carla's back okay. sorry I, I have I have trouble with the connection don't, don't worry don't worry it's okay Carla is answering so Carla what are, what time are you going to jump Carla Torrent I'm going to jump in the morning uh, no 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 <laughs> remember I, specific time in, specific time in eight o'clock 
no in at at eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. Okay, one more time. Okay. Um going to jump at six a.m. Six a.m. Okay. Okay, do the next question to Angel. Where I uh, where are going to jump? No, one more time. Uh, where are going? To no, you're forgetting no. the subject. Well, uh, it's <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, subject is R? Or? No, that's B. Uh, El B is um, is R. Y el sujeto es I, U, he, she, he, Ah, ok, he, he, ok. Eh, eh. Where are you going to jump? Yes, Ángel. I'm going to jump in my house. Ok, good. Ángel, ask Gamaliel. Eh, Gamaliel, eh, when are you going to jump? I'm going to jump tomorrow. Good. Gamaliel, ask Carlos. Carlos, why are you going to jump? Yes. Um, I'm going to jump. Yes. Uh, because. Because. <laughs> because uh, I like him. Yes. Okay. As Jose. Jose. Yeah, who? Mm -hmm. Who, who are you mm. going? No. Alguien que le ayuda a Carlos? Me. Okay. Who is going to jump? Good. Porque who is, queremos saber quién va a hacer la acción. Entonces estamos preguntando quién va a brincar o quién va a saltar. Oh. So, solo usted dice, who is going to jump? Otra vez, Carlos. Who is going to jump? Okay, Jose, answer. Carlos going to jump. Otra vez. Carlos going to jump. Le falta el B. Otra vez. Eh, el, el. Carlos are, are going to jump. No, es singular. Sí. Mm -hmm. Carlos, uh, Carlos is going to jump. Yes, Carlos is going to jump. Okay, Jose, ask Carla Cano. Uh, sería who's... Who's no va. Ni Wakaino, ni cuál otro dijimos. Uh, no va who's, ni Wakaino, who's... ni which, ni which. Entonces, mm -hmm. vamos a how. De un solo se pasa how. How, how how are you going to jump? Yes, Carracano. How are you going to jump? I'm going to jump uh, very very near. <laughs> Very near. No, you can say, I'm going to jump very high. I'm going to jump very high. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, uh, listen. I think, I think that we need more practice with uh, this thing in the tenses. And I don't know what is going on, but for some reason, every class, I have less students. 
eh, no todos se conectan para la clase, pero después me están preguntando, teacher, mire, ¿cómo hago esto y lo otro? Si no se conectan a la clase, no tienen, uh, no tienen la, la información completa, eh, después me están preguntando. Entonces, eso significa que les voy a explicar desde cero. No es así la cosa. Um, lo que necesito hacer es que, no sé si podemos practicar extra en el, en el WhatsApp. Yo voy a tirar una pregunta y ustedes me responden eh, como eh, voice note, ¿ok? Pero tenemos que practicar los cuatro tiempos. Tienen que quedárseles bien porque no, no me están dando un resultado como que han estudiado o que lo han repasado, pero que no. Pero lo podemos hacer en la práctica, ¿les parece? Sí, me parece, Super teacher. Sí. Okay. ok, so I'm going to ask, ojo, tienen que ponerle coco al verbo que estoy preguntando para así desarrollar ustedes la respuesta. Ok. Ok. Good. Y lo voy a hacer en los cuatro tiempos. ¿Estamos? Okay, teacher. Ok. Good. Ok, teacher. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night for everyone. Good night. 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 Good night.